Good morning, everyone. It's Michelle with Our First Steps, and I am here in my new office in my comfy chair. Well, it's not mine, but I love this chair. And I just uh, wanted to say good morning. Um, and some people out there may not be having a good morning, because, and today we'll be talking about the world of morning sickness, which for some of my clients, that seems to last all day. Or maybe it's in the afternoon, or maybe it's in the evening. Um, the term morning sickness, um, most commonly, it, you know, the reason why it, it was coined that way is because after a night of not eating, all, you know, for about eight hours, let's say, you are waking up in that hypoglycemic state, low blood sugar, empty stomach, and an empty stomach is actually a, a match for the world of nausea, as well as a really full stomach. So we want to, our goal is to make you even keeled um, and to hopefully give you some remedies to help you alleviate or eliminate the morning sickness. Ironically, morning sickness is actually a good sign that baby is doing well, so don't panic. Um, you know, if you are, you know, having morning sickness or whenever it is happening, um, this is super common. It's more common than not. Um, and most women do suffer in that first trimester. If after the first trimester you are still experiencing nausea and you're wondering if it's ever going to stop, um, by week 16 is, is another area where things start getting much better um, and you go into the honeymoon phase of that second trimester. If you are having or if you are vomiting all day um, and you are, you know, your health is being affected, please talk to your doctor. Um, because um, you could be in a dangerous state of dehydration and um, you want to make sure that you are your health is at its, its best and your doctor can help you um, with these extreme cases. cases. So, um, you know, morning sickness is just the common term used to describe the nausea and food aversions that many expectant women feel. Uh, we want to make sure, you know, there are some areas that just may be concerning if you're, you know, avert, you know, getting away from certain food groups. Like if you are an omnivore and just meat in general is like, blech, all those B vitamins and omega-3s and iron and other nutrients that you are getting from that food group, you want to make sure that you're either supplementing or you're getting those nutrients from other areas and just, you know, kind of paying attention to that. I'm not saying go out and eat things that are going to make you vomit, but just make sure you're paying attention and you know what nutrients you aren't, you know, getting in you and to, and that there are other ways to get them. So do not panic. Um, another thing that I tell people is to graze throughout the day. That is so important just in life in general, um, in balancing your blood sugar, because if your stomach is too empty, that actually ignites the nausea. But also when your stomach is too full, it ignites the nausea, that match goes. So you want to get right in the middle where you're not starving, but you're not at that state where you haven't eaten a couple meals and you're stuffing your face and getting too full or filling yourself with the wrong foods because your blood sugar has been on that low for such a long period of time. Um, and, you know, when your blood sugar is spiking and, and crashing, that's when the bad food cravings happen. So the world of nausea and food cravings kind of go in hand in hand and making sure that we're getting the right foods in us. And there are other natural methods. Um, ginger is also something that helps you. Cinnamon helps with um, blood sugar spikes and crashes and, um, you know, in the world of inflammation. So I like putting cinnamon in my, and anything, my coffee, my smoothies, whatever I can. Um, and so I actually have, um, part of my program, um, is about morning sickness and natural ways that you can alleviate that. Um, and it, I know it's such a hard time and I can, you know, it, it waking up and just wondering if your day is going to be revolving around being nauseous again, whether you're at your office and you have meetings that morning or you're at home with two other children that are keeping you busy. And, and it's just exhausting. So there are ways to naturally alleviate things, but if things get a little bit too out of control and you have tried every natural method, by all means, talk to your doctor and see if there's other things that he 
he or she can give you to help alleviate it if it is debilitating. And it doesn't hurt to get checked out and make sure that um, the morning sickness is not affecting anything, you know, in regards to your baby. So again, a very common thing. Most women have morning sickness. It's actually a good sign, um, you know, in that beginning first trimester that baby is doing well. Your body has this thing and there's lots of changes and dramatic changes in your body. Hormonally, you are changing dramatically. So this does affect you know, your, your digestive system. And, um, you know, you're not alone. Just reach out to me if you need help. And I will be having um, a class on this. And there is more information on that below. And I include this in my program as well, my three-month program, Eating for Two Series. So um, I would love to hear from you. And please comment below and share what um, things have helped you when it comes to morning sickness and share with other mamas. It's the best way to learn. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great morning or a better morning if you've had a rough one already. And I look forward to uh, talking to you again. Thanks again for joining.